And here, I'm here with you guys today. Uh, I'm not here to uh, convince you guys. I'm not here to um, sway your opinions or anything. I'm just here to tell you about my own experience because I feel that with understanding and with uh, education, then you can change one's mind. The United States Constitution was made in 1776. And it wasn't until 1865 that slaves were, were dubbed free in the United States. A hundred years later, men like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and more Black Panthers than everybody were marching on the streets yelling for, for civil rights then, 57 years ago. But the problem is, the problem is, is that now we are here, 157 years after we were supposed to be free, and we're still talking about it. We're still talking about freedom. And I'm so glad you guys are here. and countless others, and nine others that just in this, during this protest, and then 400 years of countless systemic racism in the United States. What is systemic racism? Imagine being redlined, where you're in a town, and because of the color of your skin, and because of the place you live, you're not entitled for school, and you're not entitled to get proper health care. Imagine not getting jobs because you're the person who is the different color of the skin and is not good for the workplace. Imagine receiving up to 20 years in prison for doing the exact same thing that somebody else with a different color skin did and he got six months. Imagine not getting a loan for your home and you want to make a family, but you can't get a loan because your color is deemed a financial risk. <laughs> Systemic racism, who would fathom trying to get ahead in a, in a system like that? I'm black American and I'm standing in front of you all. Some whites deny the existence of racism, but I say open your eyes. My name is Jeff not because my parents like that name. My name is Jeff because my parents thought giving me this name would give me a certain chance in life. At five years old, my mom told me that I had to be 120% for every white man that was 100% because a white man's greatest fear is an educated black man. I was called the whitest black person that people know. Not because I'm just a smart guy or something, because they thought in their minds that the, the vision that they see on the outside is what is, was different than what is supposed to be on the inside. Why do so many people tell me that they're not racist, but they can't let me date their daughters? Why is it that when I drive with my black friends that I'm guaranteed to get stopped by the police? Systemic racism destroys lives. It eats away at one soul until we believe that we are worthless. And, we, and then the oppressors say what we are and we believe that. No human should have to live this way. Black Americans, thank you. Black Americans make up only 14. Thank you. Black Americans make up only 14% of the United States population. Yet I am three and a half times more likely to get shot by the police. My cousins are four and a half times more likely to get put in jail. In Canada, for example, people, there are, the indigenous people are 5% of the population, and let me explain to you that there are two-thirds of them in their prison system. The system's got to change. Yep. Yeah.